Hey there everyone, we got some requests on our last video on tankless water heaters to go more in depth on the sizing of point of use heaters. So that's what we're going to do today. If you haven't checked out that last video, I recommend you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And as always, go to pexuniverse.com to get more information and get a point of use heater of your own. First of all, let's talk about point of use heaters more generally. A point of use heater, also known as a POU, is an alternative to centralized heating. Whereas a centralized water heater using either a tank water heater or a whole house tankless water heater has one unit installed in one location running hot water to every fixture in your house, point of use heaters are installed right before where the hot water is used. There are a number of advantages to this design. If you want to know more, again, go check out that last video called Tankless Water Heaters Buyer Guide. But in general, point of use heaters are ideal for large buildings where maybe a centralized water heater doesn't have enough output or where the wait in the morning for hot water can be particularly lengthy. They can also be much more efficient, not just because tankless water heaters are more efficient in general because they aren't wasting energy heating hot water that isn't getting used, but energy is also saved not moving hot water long distances through your pipes. While point of use is generally thought of as a tankless system, there are some models known as mini tanks, which are an interesting hybrid between point of use models and tank systems. They maintain a small reserve of water, which allows for a higher output while those reserves last. POU systems are available powered either by gas or electric. Though to avoid having to install gas lines in multiple locations throughout your house, electric systems are notably more popular. Now that we're experts on POU systems, let's get into the focus of this video, sizing. Whether you're sizing for a sink, shower, hot tub, dishwasher, whatever, there's only two pieces of information that you need to ascertain. That is GPM and rise. GPM is simple. It stands for gallons per minute and it's how much water your fixture is able to use per minute. Temperature rise is the difference between your average tap water temperature and your desired output level. Temperature rise, also generally known as just rise, is easy to find. Either go online or contact your local municipal water supply and ask them about what your average tap water temperature is. Take this number and subtract it from whatever your desired output temperature is, generally either 120 Fahrenheit or 140 Fahrenheit. GPM can be a little bit more involved. For some devices, like hot tubs and dishwashers, it should be marked somewhere what GPM they require. For other things, like showers and taps, you're going to need to find out for yourself. To measure GPM, get a 5 gallon bucket. Turn the fixture to be measured on at its maximum hot output. Fill the bucket and measure exactly how long it takes to fill the bucket. Take the number 5 and divide it by the number of seconds it took for the bucket to be full. Multiply this number by 60 and you have your GPM. For the sake of demonstration, let's say my groundwater temperature is 50 Fahrenheit and my desired output is 120 Fahrenheit. That means my rise is 70 Fahrenheit. I'm trying to find a water heater for my sink, so I'll take a 5 gallon bucket and I fill it all the way up, timing it with my phone. With these two numbers, I can go to pexuniverse.com and using the manufacturer supplied catalogs, figure out exactly which point of use heater will be right for my situation. And that's it. Hopefully with this information, you can find the perfect point of use water heater for whatever your situation is. As always, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And as I said, this video came from one of your recommendations. So if you have any other ideas for videos, please leave it in the comments down below. Thank you. Have a good one.